Hi, I'm Roel with uh, Micro Center's YouTube channel, and today we'll be showing you how to install a three and a half inch hard drive into an enclosure. We'll first show you all the items that you'll need uh, in order to do this process here. Um, uh, this will be the main component. This is the three and a half inch uh, SATA hard drive that we'll be installing into this uh, three and a half inch enclosure. Um, most of your enclosure kits will actually include the, um, the screws and an actual screwdriver so you can uh, go ahead and uh, mount your hard drive inside it. It will bring the USB cable, uh, the AC adapter, and um, that's it. Alright, so the first thing we'll have to do is, this is our uh, three and a half inch uh, SATA hard drive. This is it right here, SATA. We'll go ahead and um, most of your enclosures will already be open. So we'll just take out the tray, it slips right out. This one actually has a wire on it because it will show the lights on the front. It's being red. Um, so we'll go ahead and move these to the side and we'll use those till later. Then um, so it'll actually just fit one way, so you'll actually just want to make sure that the actual SATA connectors here line up with the connectors on the hard drive. Just go ahead and slide that right in, and it should go ahead and snap right on. Okay, so now we'll have to get our screws, get our bag of screws here. Go ahead and apply the screws where necessary. Screwdriver provided. Right. You'll end up using four screws, two on each side, and this is to hold the hard drive in place. That way, it's not moving around the enclosure. So go ahead and flip it. apply two screws there. Okay, just put the last one in here. Okay, so we got that in. And then you'll actually just go ahead and slide that right in. Alright, so once you got it slid in, go ahead and make sure to not get this wire caught in between the tray so it doesn't strip it. We'll go ahead and lay the wire right on there. It should go ahead and close. There are some more screws that you'll have to apply on the outer. We'll go ahead and get your screws to lock the enclosure in place apply one here and there. That way it does not slip out. There you go, this is the last screw. This is to keep the enclosure closed. And there you go. I successfully got your three and a half inch SATA drive inside the enclosure. You can see all we have left is to apply the AC adapter which will go here in the power. Uh, this is a switch to actually turn on and off your hard drive while it's plugged in. This is your eSATA connector and this is for your USB which is what we'll be using uh, today. This now that we finished putting together the enclosure, we're ready to go ahead and uh, power it on with this uh, cable we've already connected to the uh, power surge. Uh, we can go ahead and uh, connect it back here where we set in the power. Plug it in. And the on and off switch will go ahead and uh, turn it on for us. We should see the green light on, in this case, on this enclosure. It'll show that it's on. I can hear it. and that it's spinning. I'm go ahead and use a USB cable provided to go ahead and plug it in the back of the enclosure. 
And the other end will go right into your computer, which should just be a plug and play device. It'll just want you to install it, it'll recognize it, and there you have it. You'll be able to use this for backup and storage and recovery when needed. Well, thank you for watching our presentation on how to install a 3.5 inch desktop hard drive into a 3.5 inch enclosure. Um, if you need any additional help or assistance, be sure to visit your local micro center.